Royal Yacht Britannia arrives at Monrovia. For more than half of her more than 70 year reign, the Royal Yacht Britannia was the Queen's escape at sea. I'm walking in her footsteps, boarding just as she did. Joining Royal Yacht Guide, Karis Clark. Hello. Hello, welcome to the Royal Yacht Britannia. Thank you. It's incredible standing up here and just getting an idea of what it might have been like for the royal family to be on board the yacht and sailing away. Definitely, so they've got special point down here where you can actually stand and wave to all the visitors. Yeah, it's a beautiful place to come along and it's, it's just a hub of history. A history that began when a young Queen Elizabeth launched the ship in 1953. I named this ship Britannia. I wish success to her and to all who sail in her. Soon the Britannia will become a home for the Queen, the Duke and their children. It hosted four royal honeymoons, including that of Prince Charles and Diana, the Princess of Wales, in 1981. Prime ministers and presidents filled the majestic state dining room and in the royal quarters, a space designed by the Queen herself. So, Karis, this is the Queen's bedroom? Indeed it is, yeah, the only place you can actually see the Queen's bedroom now, so... It's incredible to see this space and know that this is where she spent her private time. And what amazes me is, when you look at, the, at Prince Philip's bedroom, that bed looks tiny. <laughs> yes, I know, they chose it. A six-foot-tall Prince Philip slept in a modest three-foot-wide bed. The Queen had her own office at sea, too, a small study. At the end of a long day, the Queen would sit on these steps, kick off her shoes, and read her telegrams. Relaxing in the sun lounge or the state drawing room, designed to be a country home at sea with a grand piano. It's been played by oh, Princess Diana and Princess Margaret as well, so priceless now. Princess Margaret left her mark as well, quite literally. <laughs> she used to did. stub out her cigarettes? Yes, yeah, she absolutely did. There's little marks on each corner you can still see today some where she stubbed out whilst playing and having a jolly time. After 45 years of service, the Britannia was decommissioned at the end of 1997. Prince Philip wanted the ship to be broken down, its parts recycled for another royal yacht, but the government said no, it was simply too expensive. The goodbye ceremony, the only time the famously stoic queen shed a tear in public. Every clock on board is set to a minute past three, the time the queen stepped off the ship for the last time. Britannia sailed more than a million nautical miles on 968 state visits with the royal family, a kind of global ambassador, and a place the queen once said she could truly relax. This is the only surviving British royal yacht. It was recently voted Britain's best tourist attraction. And guys, you can actually host your own state dinner on board this yacht, as long as your pockets are deep enough. Yeah, I Have bet. to be pretty deep. pretty deep. Pretty deep. Okay, Kelly, <laughs> thank you so much. I love that you can still see the cigarette marks from On the, the piano. Princess Margaret. Margaret. Yes, wow. living history. You said there was an entire episode of The Crown devoted to oh, yes. Absolutely. Wow. Where yeah. the, the Queen explains why she loves Britannia exactly. so much. It was a big, big issue for them. Yeah. I had no idea she cried over it. Though. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.